Hiya and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making, well, <laughs> dare I say this, peri peri rice. Yeah, um, I tried to think about doing a Portuguese rice and I'm doing peri peri chicken. Yeah, but I thought to myself, you know what, let me use the same ingredients and try making a peri peri rice. So, here goes. In this pan, I have one and a half cups of basmati rice. Now, you could use any long grain rice or jasmine rice. So that's one and a half cup, and that's going to feed about three people, or really generously, two. To that rice, we need to add the peri-peri seasoning, and you'll need half an onion. I'm just going to give that a little chop, so it's easier to blend. <laughs> half a bell pepper, a red bell pepper. Next, I'm going to add the juice of about a quarter of a lime. So, again, when I come to blitz this and I then taste it, I'll see if it needs a bit more. I'm also adding in half a teaspoon of seasonal, half a teaspoon of rosemary, half a teaspoon of thyme, half a teaspoon of margarine, one teaspoon of smoked paprika. So that's one and two halves. Half a teaspoon of dried chilies. And for the color, I'm adding a quarter teaspoon of turmeric or turmeric. Half a tablespoon of red wine vinegar and one tablespoon of olive oil. Half a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. And finally, just a pinch of salt, not sugar, salt. Wow. Right. Now I'm going to blitz this lid on. And I want to blitz this into a very smooth paste. So, here goes. As I blitz this, I forgot my chilli. I'm back with half a chilli. Now, fresh chilli that is, because um, we did put half a teaspoon of uh, chilli in there already chilies so back on it goes that's good enough for me I don't know where my head is at I forgot the garlic and normally I would actually put in um, one clove of fresh garlic so instead I'm going to hastily add half a teaspoon of powdered garlic give it a little taste. Mmm, that's really nice. That really is nice. Mmm, okay. Now, because I've got one and a half cups of rice in here, I need about two cups of liquid. So I need to measure this out into a rice. Right, that measured about, as you can see, a cup of paste so I'm just going to add this cup into the rice and I'm just going to give it a nice stir first of all make sure all the rice is nicely coated first Ooh, this is looking really lovely Ooh. and now we're going to add some black pepper to that I've just measured out another cup of just water and I've just put that in this blender and look at that seasoning I'm not letting that go to waste so that's on and I'm going to give that a shake shakey 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 shake. yep that's done ok 
careful because this is really hot and I'm just takes off camera because this is really hot. Woohoo! Wow, really? Right. Oh, oh that was a bit of an effort. <laughs> but I'm gonna add that to the rice. Excellent. Give that a stir. Look at the colour on that. I have to say, this is the first time I'm making my own concoction of peri rice, peri peri rice, and it's looking good already, and I haven't even started cooking it. Ooh, right. Now, what I'm going to do is turn the fire to high. That took another lot of effort as well. Yeah, so fire high, lid on, and I'm going to leave that to come to a boil. Wow. That took about a minute to do that. So, I will turn the fire down really low and I can see that that's going to need just a little bit more water. So, I'm just going to add in just literally a couple of tablespoons to that. Thought it would take longer to come to a boil, you see. So I left it on for about, yeah, about a minute. That was too much. So, yep, now I'm going to put this on the back burner and on low heat and leave it to cook for, ouch, yeah, half an hour. Ooh, that looks good. Woohoo! Right. Let's see. Fork. And I'm just going, oh yes, that is nice, that is nice, woohoo. So I'm just forking it through just to separate the grains. But I won't be able to separate all the grains because remember this has got onions, it's got the blitz peppers, etc. So it's not going to come like, you know, uh, free flow rice at this stage yeah and it does need to cool down a little bit slightly but yeah I am impressed with that yes woohoo that looks good right so what I'm now going to do is literally which I do with all my rice is just cover it with a clean tea towel so that all the moisture comes through the tea towel but still keeps the rice nice and hot and I'm going to leave that for about 10 minutes right let's have a look oh that was hot we'll I use that towel to hold this actually look at that oh my days that look there nice. see what I mean it's nice light and fluffy oh oh I have to say oh sorry about the scraping that looks good look and it's even not a grain sticking to the bottom of the pan that is a success well I say it's a success I've got to taste it yeah I'm impressed with that <laughs> now for the reveal does it taste as good as it looks let's have a look or let's have a taste really is good. However, and the reason why I'm not kicking my heels is because I think it needs a bit more salt. And you really shouldn't add rice at this day, um, salt at this age to your rice, but um, yeah, I think it needs a bit more salt. So that would be about one teaspoon of salt. I think it does, it does need it. Hmm. Okay. It's going to be perfect. <laughs> yeah, I'm not afraid of it. Yeah, 
in this one teaspoon of rice. No, salt. Oh, that's not good. That is really is good. And it's just got the, yeah, it's got just the nice kick of the, um, the chilies. That is really good. I'm really, I'm really chuffed. <laughs> Please do so, honestly. Oh, <laughs> Until the next time. See ya.